Hello everybody and welcome to NorCal Slot Car Scene. Recently I was able to purchase a Scale Auto Formula 90-97 Cup Edition Formula 1 car. Scale Auto has produced the car in both high nose and low nose versions and I chose the low nose version. When I got the car I noticed it comes in a semi kit form. The chassis itself comes completely assembled but there are parts bags for the wings and the seat and the rest of the interior and the wheel covers. There are obvious similarities between this and the NSR F1 car. Here are some of the key specifications. The motor is a 21.5K with 300 grams of torque, so it's slightly different than the NSR, but with a little bit taller gear ratio on the scale auto, I suspect these cars will be very similar in speed on the track. One key difference is the guide to rear axle. The scale auto is six millimeters longer. In terms of weight, there's not a huge difference between the two, but the NSR chassis is slightly lighter than the scale auto. To transmit the power to the track, NSR uses air style wheels, while scale auto uses a more conventional wheel. In the scale auto, you have the new AS25 compound, which I found to be very good in testing. And in NSR, you have the Super Grips. Finally, in terms of pricing, the Scale Auto seems to be just a little bit less expensive than the NSR. But obviously, this will vary depending on the livery you're purchasing, or whether you're purchasing a white kit, or where you're buying the car from. Now let's take a little bit more in-depth look at some of the features on the Scale Auto car. Like NSR, Scale Auto uses a long can motor in an inline configuration. The motor they use is their own 21,500 RPM motor. To transmit the power to the tires, NSR is using a plastic pinion and a plastic crown gear in a 1026 configuration. As you can see, the motor comes bolted to the motor pod. The screws you see on the side actually come out and that is how you remove the magnet if you're running on non-magnet tracks. Scale Auto is using a screw-in guide on their car but you'll have to cut the length of the guide shaft a little bit shorter or use spacers to take out the excessive play. The motor pod is attached to the chassis in the front in a standard two screw configuration. In the rear, the motor pod is attached behind the motor with two screws, as well as they're having two optional screws on the side of the motor. The car has four body limiting screws pre-installed in the chassis, two in the front and two in the back, they definitely help you control body movement and can be removed if you don't want them. The rear wheels are 13 millimeter wide Formula One style wheels and AS25 compound tires, which have shown a lot of promise in some testing I've done recently. Here are the two chassis side by side. You can see the scale auto chassis on the left is definitely a little bit longer in the guide to rear axle distance. I also noticed just by feel that the Scale Auto chassis appears to be a little bit stiffer, although there are optional chassis available for the NSR car. Here's a profile view of the Scale Auto F1 body. Compared to the NSR body, you do notice it's a little bit different shape, and Scale Auto has included barge boards which are built into the chassis. That's a quick preview look at the Scale Auto F1 car. Next week, I'll be doing a complete build and a road test on the car, and we'll see how it compares to the NSR F1. Thanks for watching. This is Jim Rose with NorCal Slot Car Scene.